This video illustrates the use of MGMT to visualize water chemistry data from Michigan Statewide Database in cross-section and 3D views. For this purpose, chemistry data needs to be formatted into a text file that can be ordered, imported into MGMT. These data typically include information on the well depth in addition to the measured concentration of the parameter. This makes it possible to visualize the chemistry data in 3D along with other relevant topographic or hy hydrogeologic data. Such visualizations could lead to important insights on the processes that cause groundwater contamination. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Zoom into the area of interest, Ottawa County, Michigan. 2. Click on the Create Chemistry Concentration Data icon and draw a polygon in the area of interest. For this example, a text file of the following format is used to import three-dimensional chemistry data x-coordinate, y-coordinate, z1, z2, and concentration. Here, z1 is the top elevation and z2 is the bottom elevation, which is equivalent for point data. The option to assign them differently is for dealing with well screens when displaying wells, as discussed in a previous example. 3. Proceed to the folder where the text file is stored and click OK. The imported concentration data will be imported and displayed in the table in the chemistry window that appears. 4. Expand chemical sampling in the data layers display, then expand and right click on chloride and open properties. 5. Go to the symbology tab, ensure that quantify classify is selected, and set break levels of 50, 100, 150, and 200 milligrams per liter. Click apply and OK to proceed. Note the updated display of the spatial distribution of chloride in the MGMT main window. 6. Zoom in slightly and click on the Track Polyline for Cross-Section icon and draw a polyline passing through data points in the map. Single-click on each vertex of the polyline and double-click at the last vertex. 7. A cross-section view comes up showing the land surface, the bedrock top, and the concentration data. 8. Click on the More button on the left-hand side of the cross-section to show the display options. Check Marshall, Coldwater, and Atrium and click OK. This will display the Marshall Sandstone, the Coldwater Shale, and the Atrium formations. 9. Adjust the vertical scale to zoom into the depth scale of the chloride data. 10. Under Render Chemistry Data, check the box next to Classify by Concentration Level, click on the range of values next to the blue symbol, and enter 30 in the input box next to set classify break value. Update the other symbol break values in a similar fashion. Note the updated cross-sectional display of the concentration data. 11. The user may select an individual sample in the table and a red arrow will appear in the display to show the location of the data point along the cross-sectional profile. When finished viewing the results, close the cross-section window. 12. Click on Select 3D Model Area and draw a polygon around the area that needs to be visualized in 3D. 13. The 3D Model Options window will appear with default information on the number of rows and columns and the grid size of the 3D model. Go to the Layer Information tab and select the following layers. Chloride Site, Chloride, and Marshall, Coldwater, and Atrium under Formation Elevations LP, or Lower Peninsula then click OK. 14. Increase the vertical exaggeration factor from 2 to 15 and use the screen navigation icon to rotate and view the 3D model from different angles. 15. Along the model boundary, the distribution of the DEM bedrock layer and the formation specific layers can be turned on or off by checking or unchecking the boxes next to each layer name. Uncheck each layer to clearly see the distribution of each layer in space. 16. Under Formation Elevation, the different layers can be checked or unchecked to easily view the top elevation surface of each bedrock formation. Seventeen. Note that the chloride concentration data become visible when the bedrock formations are checked and unchecked and as the user rotates and pans the 3D view. 18. Uncheck DEM under Elevation to remove the DEM surface layer. 
All that is left in the 3D display are the chloride data points and the bedrock top surface. 19. Uncheck bedrock under elevation and recheck DEM to clearly see the position of the chloride data points with respect to the land surface.